Hello folks, welcome in the new video of GaborSpeaks.com. My name is Gabor and what I'm going to talk about today is pitching. All right, because last year I was in the Dragon Cave pitch. It's an event when you can pitch your own company and ask for money, right? This is what pitching is all about. And it's important to get it right. You see, I approached all of these uh, six participants. They, are, they were six companies. And what I told them that, okay, you don't know how to pitch. I can help you in that because I'm a public speaker. You know, it might be beneficial. And what they said that, okay, we don't really have funds just yet. So just come back to me when we have funds for this, you know, so that we can pay you money. And I was like, if you don't know how to pitch, then how the hell are you going to have money? No, it makes no fucking sense with all due respect. And yeah, that's, I, I didn't really get a satisfying answer for that. But anyway, I left it like that. And I went to the event, to the pitching event. And what I saw, Jako Tako, as they would say in Poland, I identified three mistakes. Well, it's a mistake if you keep in mind that you actually want to get money for your business and you want to be convincing on stage. Yeah, so I identified three of these and I want to share my insights. Maybe it's going to be helpful. Maybe I can convince you that you know, getting the pitch right is important. So here it is. Number one. Get in the spotlight and be in it, stay in it, all right? All of them, all of the speakers, all of the six, what they did is that they were somewhere here and they were pointing at the slides. Oh yeah, they are over there, you know, look at the slides. It's okay, don't look at me, fine, bye-bye. And what was the point in this? You know, that's the number one rule in presentation that if you are using slides and these slides give you all the information that is needed, you might as well just hand out the slides. You don't, you are not needed in the presentation. Okay, so what to do instead is to be in the spotlight and stand in there and show who you are. Yeah, because the investors, they are interested in you. You are the company and not your fucking slides. Yeah, this is something that is really, really important and important to get it right, to show some balls. All right. And then the second thing is that once you are on the stage, yes, and you are presenting, then have an opinion about your business or about whatever you are presenting about. In a pitch, it's a business, right? So if you if you are standing there and you're saying like you know we have this new product and it can do this and do that and it's really fantastic it's going to change the world and it's yeah it's a please give me money because you know like we need it and then uh, yeah it's it's uh, it's gonna be a good product you know it's uh, it's fine it's fine so yeah if you present like this then you know it you just give the impression that you don't give a shit you know you're just there you're counting the seconds and counting the words that please when is when is it going to be over just make it be finally over so yeah if if this is the attitude then then the investor is going to look at you and say that okay well this guy doesn't really believe in the company and in the product and doesn't really believe in himself. So <laughs> for sure, I'm not going to give this guy or girl for that matter money. Yeah, because if he doesn't believe in himself, then why would I believe in himself? Hmm? And as the second thing is that, okay, like if there is a shitty presentation and your, your investor is looking at you, then okay, at least show me something this is what is in his mind and okay this presentation was more or less fine i understand what your product is about show me your roi your return on investment 
And this is usually the, the place where you do this. Yeah, so we, we kind of need money because we are not really producing money. Mm -hmm. And you know, if, if, you, if you cannot show a convincing return of in, on investment, and this is quite basic because you're a startup, then at least you can show an attitude that I really want this to happen. And if you don't have neither an ROI, neither an attitude that is presentable, that I want to do this, then you, know, you are just going to get money because you suck less than the others. That's about it. And then comes the third point. Like if you are ready to show yourself, and your product through yourself, then it's important to tell stories. Tell stories. There was only one guy who mentioned stories. He said that, okay, on the slide, there's supposed to be stories, but you know, I don't have time for it, so I will just skip. But man, this, is, this was the part where you could have convinced the investors that you are a human being, and then you believe in what you are doing, because this is what stories are for, to show who you are, what you are standing for, and what you do, right? It's not about the data. It's not about just, you know, saying some bullshit phrases like, yeah, we'll change the world. Yeah, we'll generate a lot of money. Or more like, yeah, we'll change the world. Yeah, we'll generate a lot of money. Whatever, you know. If, if there is a story and the story is credible and you can support it, then it's much more likely that the investor is going to believe in you and will give you some money because he will see that, okay, this person is credible. This person is something or somebody that stands for something. And this is a really important part. Okay, so once again, I suggest if you want your pitch to be right, then show yourself. And how to show yourself? Uh, you show yourself because you are essentially selling yourself, not just the product. Okay? So first thing is to get into the spotlight and stay in it. All right? The second thing is to tell stories. Oh, that was the third one. But anyway, the, the second one was, oh yes, have an opinion, all right? Have an opinion about your business. If you really believe in it, then show it, okay? So this is what I want you to do. Good luck next time. And this is Gabor. Once you're ready, come speak with Gabor at gaborspeaks.com.